Good morning and welcome to my channel and here's just a quick look around my car. Right, well, this is going to be a quick bit of intro because today I've got to get over my shyness and get myself on camera. So, now you know the car I drive. 20, well, 17 year old, year 2000, Vauxhall Vectra GSI. The most hated car in Jim Clarkson, but sorry. I like them. Well, here we are inside the car and, well, my first piece to camera properly. Right, welcome to the channel and uh, good morning. Hope we're all well. Right, um, this is a piece that I've been meaning to do for a while. It's alright, I'm looking around some other public car park. Right, who am I? My name's David. I am um, basically as work at the moment and I'm car fanatic. I love my cars. Classic cars, performance cars, supercars, though I never really got to drive one properly. Um, about two years ago I had an accident at work. I've got 10 degrading discs in my lower spine so I'm in regular pain and well cars are my life. I'll start my own business, Central Performance Look for it online if you need any parts for your car. Go there, try me first. And uh, yeah, I'm trying my hand at that. And I also like to do this kind of thing. I love photography, and videos are new to me. As you can tell by my accent, I'm from the West Midlands. It's one of those accents you either love or hate, a bit like Scouse or Cockney. But a uh, bit of a shy guy, so this is new to me. and. Unfortunately, the sun is catching me here and not up here. It's one of those days. Uh, who do I like on YouTube? Who are the people I look up to the most? Mm, top of this is probably Mr. JWW. James, I've been lucky enough to meet him. Then there's Sam, seen through glass, I've met him as well. Both really nice blokes, for want of a better way of putting it. I'd love to work with people like that. I'd love to have the kind of cars they do as well. Um, further afield, Salamandrin, go hand it to him. He speaks the way he wants to speak and be damned whatever YouTube or any moderators or people think. Hats off to him for that. Another bloke with a cracking car collection. And uh, James, whose name has completely gone past me. <laughs> Lives in Utah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my brain's gone dead. It's one of them mornings. It's alright, it was my birthday yesterday, so, um, yeah, a bit late to bed, a bit up early. Uh, I'm just a Dansworth guy, born in, born and bred in Wolverhampton. And, well, it's Wolverhampton gym that I'm currently part upon. I own a Vector GSI, which I've already videoed. That might be behind, behind this, might be before it. I'm a member of, uh, some forums, a couple of owners groups and basically my life's restarted from here with my business. I'm also applying for some jobs just to see me through until my business picks up unless it does take off in the next month or so. And basically the old vector will be staying, get done up and as time goes by I'm going to upgrade my car, my next car, I'll buy another car then I'll use that as a base to get further and further and further up. Another point I'd like to get to, any car fanatic, I want to own a supercar, I'd love to own a supercar, something like an Aston Martin, a McLaren. Ferraris really don't do it for me, they're amazing cars, I've been in a couple, passenger rides admittedly. Lamborghinis, yeah, cracking cars. And let's face it, if Ferrari had sold Lamborghini a car in the first place, there wouldn't be any Aventadors or Huracans, or even back in the day the Mura. So I'd love to own a fast GT car and a hot hatch and keep this old Vectra for car shows because they're getting rare, even if Clarkson did hate them. That's his personal taste, not mine. And at the end of the day, it's a Vauxhall. It's a car we can all own it's within most people's range of buying. Even the more modern cars like Astro VXRs, Insignias, 
the more people buy those and buy supercars, hypercars. Let's face it, you're not going to see many Koenigseggs or Paganis as you drive down the road, even if you drive 100 miles to work every day and back. They're ultra, ultra rare cars. So, that's a bit about me. And uh, basically, I'd love to work with people like Salamandrian, Mr. JWW, Seen Through Glass, Supercars of London. But that's going to be a way off. I just need to reboot life, get started. I'm a singleton. Uh, my last girlfriend screwed me over basically. That was her prerogative and like a fool I went along because she was promising me everything I wanted in life. Uh, families, marriage, home. And basically she diddled me, she fiddled me. Took me for the fool I am. But uh, you learn from your lessons, you become a stronger and wiser person. Um, next next year hopefully I'll be in a bit less pain because I've now got to lose a lot of weight. This is the springboard, it was my birthday yesterday and from here on in it's strictly rabbit food. <laughs> well, I won't go that far. More watching what I eat, more exercise so there may be videos in the future of me on a mountain bike. Yeah, I'm not a great sighting lycra, but like I said to somebody once, you don't go fishing in tennis shorts. You buy the right gear to do the sport. You don't see somebody going jogging in a pair of later hosen. Um, next year, 2018, I intend to get my act together. And if I make money from YouTube and from my business, I will go to more car events. I do more cycling, uh, videos from both, car shows, it'll be stuff like Auto Sports International, modified car shows, high performance car shows, maybe even rallies, I love my motorsports, I'm even going to try and get some uh, British touring cars, something I haven't done for a long long time, last time I went to a touring car meeting the likes of John Cleland and James Thompson were racing, back in the days of Super Tourers. Um, I might even try and get to a British Superbike event. Some rally, classic rally shows, uh, obviously in this country, but um, it's a life reboot now for me. Uh, unfortunately, I've uh, clicked over into the 40s. I'm a single man, and well, it's time to restart, get my head down, aim high. Nobody ever got anywhere by aiming for the bottom rung. You've got to aim high and go for it. Really put your head down and go for it. I do it in a very roundabout way, but if you rush, that's when you make mistakes. So it's in, nice and steady. I'm looking at doing some things like maybe even stock market, but I want to build my business up. I want to get so I can make a living from selling performance car parts looking after the people that buy from me really proper old-fashioned trading where the customer is not only a customer they're a friend there's somebody you you can't do discounts stuff like that but you strike up a friendship when they order from you oh yeah i know you you're uh, the chap from newcastle up Tyne or from london who owns a x car you like your cars and I'll look after you best I can. Best service possible and just basically be the best person I can. And hopefully one thing will lead to another and I can really go into this YouTube and a life around cars. If anybody has any contacts or can, you know, drop me some emails, help me out. Every little bit of help helps. It's simple as that. But Right, that's it. I've waffled. There's not much action I can give you at the moment because obviously it's Wolverhampton. It's not a exciting place to be, but it's home. That's all I can say. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully things will get better over the coming weeks and months and uh, I'll get to some events soon. Even if it's just a little event for 
I've got a friend who's got a car cleaning place in Wrexham. He's got an Alpha Day coming up soon, so hopefully. Uh, there's a bit of family illness, but I can get to that one way or another. And if you like this, or if you want to watch me grow or help me grow, please like and subscribe. It'll be down here or up here somewhere. Click the square and the bell button, so if I upload any more videos, well, not if, when I upload some videos, you'll get a, a warning to your email address and thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.